Spurge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the new TCX Mood 2 Gore-Tex riding shoes. So, this is going to be an update over the original Mood shoes from TCX. Price hasn't changed. These are still coming in around the $220 price point for a Gore-Tex riding shoe. Now, this is a crossover. It is really kind of more of a, a little bit more than a regular traditional lightweight riding shoe, a little bit more into what we would call a riding boot territory. Six and a half inches tall. The real change that we're gonna see here is a style change with some protection updates. So if you're looking at this compared to the outgoing version, I love what TCX has done. They've made it a better looking riding shoe while also adding in protection and not changing the price. So first and foremost, let's hit on sizing. Sizes will range from a 36 up to a 48. If you're using uh, TCX's size chart to convert over, I am typically a 12 and a half in all of my riding shoes. That would put me in a size 47 for TCX. Fits spot on. No surprises if you're using that size chart. Two different colors. There is the all black version and there is this kind of deep forest gray. And you'll notice even with the black version, there's some really cool accents where you get this little accent of green popping onto there. And then you've got the TCX logo done in the green version. You've got a little accent of black with the contrast yellow stitching. I love this style redesign on this. If you look at the old moods, they were just kind of like the same leather throughout. They looked a little bit just kind of outdated, unfortunately, but these new ones are super sharp. The suede accents to the top of this down along the leather. I love the hand to the leather on this. So I think, especially considering we're not getting a price change, really like what we're seeing with this riding shoe. The main construction on this is all gonna be a cowhide leather. You're gonna see it across the toe. Little bit of reinforcement at the toe cap, but nothing super aggressive. We're seeing a lot of manufacturers go away from a full covered toe cap. Little bit of reinforcement at the very top, but nothing up top. So no shift panels or anything like that. You're getting the, uh, the suede accent over here, which just helps to add some contrasting to the leather. And then the black around the heel protection on the back is done in that contrast color as well. So double stitching throughout, really great hand of leather, and you are getting the ankle protection there. D3O has been added for the ankle cups on this, so that wasn't on the previous version, so you're getting lateral and medial protection for your ankle cups with D3O. And if we're taking a look at the sole on this, it is going to be the ground track sole, probably out of five out of 10 from a rigidity standpoint. Definitely comfortable enough to walk around all day in, but gonna give you support in the, uh, in the arch on that. Now, similar sold to what we've seen from some other TCX, and for the first time, it's getting the Z plate. So this is gonna be your shank reinforcement in there, and we, we had one here, because you can kind of see they've used this in other shoes that they have. Adds for flexibility and comfort in the toe, but then rigidity as you get back into that reinforcement for the shank on the midsole for this. So from the outside standpoint, it's important to note that this is a Gore-Tex waterproof shoe. Gore-Tex is guaranteed for the life of the garment. As long as the garment itself isn't damaged in the event of a crash, uh, Gore-Tex does guarantee the fact that it will stay waterproof for the life of the garment. That being said, the Gore-Tex layer starts right around the second eyelet for this. So go down roughly about an inch to an inch and a half. If you're wearing waterproof pants or waterproof rain gear, it needs to sit over the top of the shoe. One of the biggest complaints we get is, oh, the Gore-Tex isn't working, but it's actually water running down from a failure with waterproof pants. So just keep that in mind because this is only a six and a half inch rise to the shoe or to the boot on this, you do need to make sure that your waterproof protection goes over top of the Gore-Tex. A little bit of textile mesh working its way through the back of the laces. Again, something that wasn't on the previous version. I like the different accent there. And then you are getting the rubberized pull. So once your laces are strapped up, you can tuck the laces down underneath here and you kind of reduce the risk of laces coming loose and getting stuck in a moving part of the motorcycle. Typically, we don't love to see laces on riding boots, but because like I said, this is more over that crossover between a boot and a shoe. And we're seeing more and more of these. At the very least, we love to see the fact that there is gonna be this elasticated pull to help tuck the laces away in the event that you know they start to loosen up, they don't start flailing around and get stuck in a moving piece. So 
if we're just comparing this apples to apples, the Mood 1 or the Mood 2, I love the updates that we've seen from TCX. I love the hand to the leather. I love the suede, you know, kind of accents to this. I like the fact that we've got some different colorways. The leather looks a little bit higher in quality. I like the fact that you've got the mesh down the front. You've got the D3O added to this from a protection standpoint. And if you've never used the Z-Shank before, great comfort for walking around all day while still giving you rigidity for when your feet are on the pegs on the motorcycle. So the fact that TCX hasn't increased the price, but we're seeing all these key updates, I think is a huge win for the brand. And this is definitely gonna be an option for you to consider if you're looking for something that's a little bit more of a riding shoe focus while integrating motorcycle protection. Now to learn more about this and what other riders have to say, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are out there using the Moods or the Mood 2s as are on the table right now. And if you're still not sure as to which pair of riding shoes or riding boots is right for your style as well as your budget, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through all the different riding shoes available to make sure that you find the right pair of riding shoes for you. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the TCX Mood 2 Gore-Tex riding shoes. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.